So we know, we know that Scaramucci has the style, uh, but his job is not just to make nice with the press. His job is to communicate the White House's message as clearly as possible. And this weekend, he got off to a running start. Scaramucci muddled the message when he confirmed the president is exploring the, quote, complete power to pardon anyone swept up in the Russia investigation. I'm in the Oval Office with the president last week. We're talking about that. He says he, he, he brought that up. He says, but he doesn't have to be pardoned. There's nobody around him that has to be pardoned. Those comments directly contradict statements from the president's personal lawyer. Pardons have not been discussed and pardons are not on the table. I love this White House so much. <laughs> You know, most presidents would try to get their team all on the same page, but Trump has his team try every page. <laughs> Just like, okay, you tell them we didn't talk uh, about pardons, you tell them we only talked about pardons, uh, you tell them I died during the meeting, and uh, I'm gonna tweet that I've never met any of you guys, all right? <laughs> Go. And... And that wasn't... That wasn't even the weekend's biggest mooch highlights. Two days into his job, we found out that he couldn't even keep a secret for more than five seconds. Somebody said to me yesterday, uh, I won't tell you who, that if the Russians actually hacked this situation and spilled out those, uh, those emails, you would have never seen it. You would have never had any evidence of them. I don't know who this anonymous person is that said that if the Russians had actually done it, we, we wouldn't have been able to detect it. But it is how, the, how but about, it is the how unanimous... About, how, about is, the, how, about the, how about it was the president? Wow. Scaramucci revealed his anonymous source just to try win an argument with Jake Tapper? <laughs> like, if I were Trump, I'd be a little worried about this right now. You don't want Mooch going out there like, oh, you think you know something about collusion with the Russians? Well, guess what, Big Shot? I watched the Pete tape, okay? <laughs> now who's the smart guy, huh? He was peeing through a tie on the other side of the room. <laughs> it was like three feet away. <laughs> so that... I mean, that was a slip-up. Those were slip-ups. Uh, but but, but slip-ups aside, Scaramucci seems like a loyal soldier, although he wasn't always one. In fact, during the early stages of the presidential race, he was very open about what he really thought of Donald Trump. I'll tell you who he's going to be president of. You can tell Donald I said this. The Queens County Bullies Association. You got to cut it out now and stop all this crazy rhetoric. It's anti-American. It's very, very divisive. Is he going to be the alienator in chief when he's running the country? Yeah. The whole insecurity and the bullying is not what you want in the American president. Oh, my. This is not the guy. The politicians don't want to go at Trump because he's got a big mouth and he's afraid he's going to light him up on Fox News and all these other places. But I'm not a politician. You're close. You're Bring it. Right, so you're, why, you're, is it, why is he you're, resonating? You're an inherited why is he money resonating? dude from Queens County. Bring it, Donald. Do Bring it, Donald. <laughs> Bring it, Donald. Bring me a job offer, you coward. <laughs> Bring it to me and I will work for you so hard, you son of a bitch. Bring it, Donald. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Now, okay, now I will say this. In Scaramucci's defense, he said those things before he thought Trump would win, right? And, and not only has he since apologized to President Trump for speaking out against him, he atoned by offering Trump the ultimate sacrifice. President Trump's new communications director deleting all his old tweets, including ones that opposed some of the president's positions on things like gun control, border walls, and climate change, announcing it all with a message. Full transparency, he writes. Past views evolved and shouldn't be a distraction. Uh, I'm not sure how that works, but that's not full transparency. <laughs> full transparency, I'm deleting my old tweets. <laughs> For normal people, full transparency would be keeping the tweets. It's the same way Donald Jr. Remember before he released his emails, right? Remember that incident? Just before the New York Times did it, he did it. He was like, full transparency, I told you first. I told you first, full transparency. <laughs> No, that's, that's not full transparency. What if everyone defined transparency the Trump way? Like, if a money launderer was like, full transparency, I'm shredding all my financial records. Shredding them all, <laughs> you won't see a thing. Full transparency, you know it all, people. It's not the same thing. Now, 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 some people may think it's odd for a man who believes in climate change, gun control, and abortion rights to go work for Donald Trump. But in a way, if you think about it, he's the perfect man for the job. Who could represent Donald Trump better? than a guy willing to abandon all of his previous positions <laughs> if it gets him into the White House. <laughs> Who better to do the job?